Aloha, this is Rochelle from MrsMommyMartin.com. Today I'm with my son Ikaika and we are going to do a food review! <laughs> Here we go! We're back and we have lemons. It's dried lemons from Hawaii. These lemons don't look too good but at the same time look delicious. It tastes pretty good. Is it? Let me mm -hmm. taste a piece. You want to taste a rim? Sure. A rim kind of tastes better. Mmm, it's almost like candy. Mm hmm So is this mm. good a thumbs up or thumbs down? Mm. Well, how about this? Let's do a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Okay. And then, like, depending on which one we do, we rate it from a thumbs down 1 to 10, so it's 1 to 10 in badness. Okay. Or if we do it... A thumbs up, it's one to ten. Let's okay. Go goodness. Okay, so let's do thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, thumbs up. Yeah, I'd, I'd rate it about a four on a great scale. Four on a great scale, like it being really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's in like a four good. Yeah, it tastes on the goodness level. Mm hmm Okay. It tastes pretty good. It's just that I won't eat this as actually one of my snacks. Mm hmm But it tastes really good though. Cool. Next, rock salt lemon. Mm, it looks good. So this is what it looks like. It just looks like a piece of brownie. It's a huge dehydrated lemon. Do you see it? The lemon top? <laughs> the lemon stem is still on there. Hmm. Let's try just it. Just take a bite. That is sweet. That is really good. Does it make your cheeks hurt right here? No, it's not that sour. Ooh. It mm -hmm. makes mine hurt. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Definitely a thumbs up. For me, it's a thumbs down. I give this a six on the thumbs up scale. Okay, so I give it a thumbs down just because I'm probably not going to eat it. It will probably be his. But rock salt lemon... I'd rather have the plain lemon. This is just a little bit too... Ah, the sour piece. <laughs> <laughs> I might have had the sour piece. <laughs> Next up is what they call shredded ika. But to me, I call this uh, cuttlefish. You should call me cuttlefish. <laughs> <laughs> we call it cuttlefish in Hawaii. The, I guess the proper word is shredded ika. But it, what it is is Japanese style dried squid. Yeah, it's so good. You should try it for yourself. <laughs> like, I already tried Wait, it. Wait, first smell the bag. <laughs> it smells fishy. Mm. Is it good? Mm hmm. I tried this a long time ago. This what it is looks amazing. Like. Try it out for yourself. If you don't like it, you're not normal. It's a little. Salty, but it's like the perfect amount. So do we give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up at a 10, right? This is like a 10 thumbs mm. up. Wait, I'll give it an eight cause, cause there might be stuff better. You never know. I don't know, but I like this is my favorite. I could eat this all day. Same. <laughs> <clears throat> Next up is one ton chip that's already open. <laughs> but this is when they take one ton wrappers and deep fry it. But this is made in Hawaii, so they have um, a specific kind of seasoning on these. I'll show you what they look like. This is what it looks like, oops, when it's deep fried strips of one ton. Just like peanut butter chip. It tastes good, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, it probably tastes like peanut butter too now because you eat fish or squid. Mm. Mm. So good. They make their own noodle, like it's a noodle type of mm -hmm. thing that they deep fry. Mm. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're giving it a thumbs up. This is definitely a thumbs up. Thumbs up, I'd say a nine. I'm gonna give it another 10 because I just like that much stuff. All right, next step. 
Big Island Candies Cookies. Did you say cookies? Yes. Okay, so the ones that have the word milk at the end are milk chocolate, and the ones that have dark at the end are dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. So macadamia nut, pineapple, Kona mocha, and coconut. So this is what the four cookies look like. They're not labeled. And we don't know which ones they are, but these are the four cookies. We're going to taste them and tell you what flavors they are. Okay. You going to open that I one? I just want to see if it shows the... I, I have a feeling... This is the darkest one. I have a feeling this is the co coffee mocha or whatever. Here. Kona mocha. Kona coffee mocha. Is it good? What is it? Mm -hmm. What flavor is it? Well, that one's a milk chocolate because these two are the dark mm -hmm. chocolates. So it's got to be either just macadamia nut or pineapple. Do you taste pineapple in it? Not really. It's macadamia nut? Not really not. <laughs> you got to bite the side of the chocolate. I, I bit down the middle. Mm. That's Kona Mocha. That one's super good. I have a feeling this one's going to be the pineapple maybe. Let's see if I'm right. Mm -hmm. This one's the same one that you gave me. So. Oh, no. This is coconut. This is the same one that I had, so you should try that. This is coconut dark chocolate. That one's really good. Let's open this one. Mmm. Macadamia. This is weird, but good. I never had a pineapple cookie before. That's pineapple? Mm-hmm. This is pineapple. Don't eat that one yet. Eat this one first because it'll... So I guess if you put eat the coconut and the pineapple together, it would be like a pina colada cookie. Take one bite and then let the cameraman taste it. <laughs> the camera woman. Is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super good. I've tried this one before. It's so good. That one's coconut. All right, next up is Li Hing Sour Watermelons. Now, unlike the strawberry belts, when you go um, to the store and you get the strawberry belts, they're just strawberry belts, you can go to the store and get these sour watermelons. This is what they look like. But this one's Well, this one has Li Hing Moi powder. Um, and I'll put what Lihing Mui powder is in the description. Well, how, do, how would you describe Lihing Mui powder? It is sour and it goes great on oranges. Okay, and it's and red. And it's red. <laughs> and it stains. It stains, people. <laughs> it stains. What it is, is a dried plum. Okay, so it says here, Lihing Mui, known as Huame. Huame. Oh, it's from China, not Japan is a salty dried plum. It has a strong distinctive flavor and is often said to be an acquired taste. It definitely is, because I know a lot of people that taste it for the first time and they're like, what the? Thank you for joining us as we went through all of these Hawaiian goodies. We always enjoy trying new things, especially Kaika, right? Mm -hmm. And we always enjoy when we get goodie bags from our family and friends in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And if you like this video, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps us. And also, you won't forget to see any of our videos. <laughs> I see what you mean by jaw hurting. Okay. That too. And these lemons don't look too good, but seem to look delicious. Have you ever, have you, have that ever happened to you? Yeah. Have that ever happened to you? Have, 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 have. Has, has that ever happened to you? <laughs> yes, it has. Okay. <laughs>